everybody welcome to my bookshelf so yes this is not a book this is a box <laughs> okay that's why I'm behind the camera instead of in front of the camera talking to you today um, I got a couple of Jane Austen gifties as you may or may not know I am working on a book about Jane Austen it is an academic book full of articles related to her works and uh, derivatives of her work and we just finished the index. I say we because I am writing this and editing it um, with another teacher. And then we have numerous other teachers who have also contributed. Um, but she and I have kind of partnered on this. We both wrote a book together about, uh, let's see, it was published in 2015 by McFarland called uh, Women of Florida Fiction. And it is a, an anthology of contemporary uh, secondary source uh, articles related to uh, female <laughs> Florida fiction writers, I guess you could say. So we kind of teamed up and we're doing something similar with the Jane Austen. And yeah, we just finished that index. So um, any day now we're going to be submitting the final manuscript to our publisher. We are just checking, crossing the T's and dotting the I's and proofreading like crazy. Uh, because once we submit it, that's it. You you don't get to change things. If you find a typo later, too bad, so sad. Um, so anyway, I was shopping around on Etsy because I wanted to get a little something something to thank her um, for doing this project with me. It was a lot of work. I kind of had to talk her into it a little bit because, you know, these are the type of writing projects that you do for the love of the, um, the subject, area, subject matter. You're not going to make big bucks or really any bucks hardly on it so uh so yeah so I asked I did ask a lot of her anyway so so anyway so I got her just a little a little trinket as a remembrance of um our working together on the book and it's in this box so hold on let me open it up and show you what's inside all right let's open her up um I should mention this was actually in a mailer um, so yeah, so it wasn't just shipped just like this, but, um, yeah, I'm very impressed with the packaging so far. That is the name of the shop, Jane Austen Treasures, and says, I am, I am very strong. Nothing ever fatigues me, but doing what I do not like. <laughs> Nothing ever fatigues me, but, but doing what I do not like. That's funny. If I could not be persuaded into doing what I thought wrong, I will never be tricked into it. Northern Abbey, cute. All right, so and this is thanks. And a little stickery thing. All righty. Like I said, I got it was a gift for my co-editor, author, and of course when I saw it, I was like, eh, I'll get me one too. Uh, oh, neat. Oh, look at these. Okay, well, you can see it's a little, a little charm bracelet. Okay, I think that's a little bit, well, no. So it's, it's a little charm bracelet that has, that says Jane Austen. You can even see me now um, on it. So, and it's like a little drawer. Oh, I love this, especially since it's going to be a gift. It's kind of, it's gift wrapped already. Like, boom, there you go. And then here's the other one. I just, I got two of the same things. You, they also had the charms where you could have um, one of the characters' names on it. Or no, it was not the characters, the, the um, title of the book. So I could have gotten one that said Pride and Prejudice or whatever, but I went with the old Jane Austen one. And it's, it's not, you know, this is costume jewelry. Super cute. It looks like there's some swag in here. What is this? Jewelry maintenance. Okay. Wipe with a, clim uh, a chemical free jewelry cloth after each use. Okay. That's kind of cool. That's handy dandy. I don't know if there's anything else in here. Oh, they have a little cloth. Well, that's nice. Okay. I'll have to make sure. So it looks like there's. Okay. There's two of them. So nice. I'll have to make sure that I include one with hers. And I give her her bracelet. Nice. Can I get that back in there? Come on, man. There we go. Oh, well. That will be mine. So I'm assuming the same thing's in here. I think I'm going to give her the black 
box because they match and then it's just the way the presentation is I think it's nice um, I wonder if this this fit no this isn't gonna fit in there hmm. okay so I guess I'll have to give it like this I don't know maybe I'll put a piece of ribbon around it when I do that and then what else oh multiple things she perceived her sister and Bingley standing together. Oh, there's little things. So Charles Edmund Brock illustration for the 1895 edition of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. Elizabeth watching Bingley propose to Jane near the fireplace. And then it looks like there's little bookmarkers in here. There's all kinds of stuff. I said these bracelets were very reasonably priced. Um, so there's the shop. Here is, oh, they have other shops. Okay. This looks like a sticker. That's kind of cool. All right. I like that. I have seen those illustrations before. In fact, I might have a book that has those illustrations in them. Here's another one. She is tolerable, but not handsome enough to tempt me. <laughs> Same thing. Okay, cool. So... Okay, so there's two of these with each one. All right, so I'll give her one of these also. So I could put it like that. And then here is a postcard that says, Thank you most sincerely for your support. Huh. And then we got the little box. In fact, I might just, maybe I'll do like this and give this to her like this. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Boom. And I can reuse reuse the box. Cool. Now let me take this out of here. Let's see. This, oh yeah, it does come out all the way. These are just really clever boxes, I have to say. They're pretty. It's pretty hefty though. Nice chain. Lobster claw clasp. I don't know. Can I put it on by myself? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Sometimes it can be hard to do that. I have ugly hands, but you can kind of see what it looks like. Oh, yes. Nice. How cute. I like it. Very comfy. I might have to turn it, so try it on again and flip it, because I want the charm to be up. So I'll have to, I'll have to mess with it, but super cute yeah I love this idea um, if you know any li literary friends that you're looking for gifties totally recommend these folks again um, like I said I, I'm not affiliated with them in any way but I am pleasantly surprised and like I said I felt like the the prices considering everything was very reasonable and you get some cool stuff yeah let me know what you think down in the comments below about this little gifty idea um yeah and have a wonderful day of course please subscribe give me a thumbs up and thanks for stopping to see what's on my bookshelf today bye bye